March 1982. The Soviet Venera 13 space probe nears the end of its four-month journey to the planet Venus. A lander packed with a payload of cameras and scientific instruments plunges more than 30 miles through clouds of sulfuric acid to reach the surface. In the Cold War era, the Soviets keep the findings of the probe a closely guarded secret. During the 1970s and 80s, we knew very little about the Venera missions to Venus. It takes three decades before a Russian scientist, Leonid Kasafamality, reveals astonishing images from the Soviet archives. He's reanalyzing pictures and he notices something rather strange. He sees what appears to be a scorpion to him. Cassan Formality declares the probe's cameras have captured evidence of life on Venus. A scorpion-like creature on the surface of Venus sounds a little out there, but is there a way that Venus could support life? Any life on Venus would face huge problems. There are a lot of unappealing places in our solar system, but probably none as unappealing as Venus. If you decided to take a stroll on Venus, it'd be unlike anything you'd ever experienced. The atmosphere would be crushing on your body. The rocks underneath your feet would be red hot, almost molten, ready to melt. The surface temperature on Venus is over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead. Venus is often said to be Earth's sister planet, although this is not the sister you'd like to get to know better because of the high temperatures. In the absence of any further evidence for the existence of scorpion creatures on Venus, we can only guess at what the shape in the image might be. My take on this image is that we're looking at a furrow that was dug by this instrument cover after it was ejected from the Venera 13 craft 